So today we are gonna be inside. I have a small little, hopefully shorter project. <laughs> um, and it's not even really a project, it's just like an update. So we are going to check on my geraniums that I am overwintering. Normally every year I plant geraniums in pots like all around my yard, on my deck out here, and then on my front porch as well. And we just had so many big uh, projects going on that I really didn't get to planting any planters like I normally love to do. And so a lot of times when I do plant those planters, I'll bring those geraniums in right in the pots and I'll overwinter them in the pots in my house. And so since I didn't plant any geraniums in pots this year, I didn't have any to overwinter. However, I was at the garden center this uh, last spring slash summer and they were clearancing geraniums like at a ridiculous amount of money. There was like three or four geraniums in a hanging basket and they were clearancing the hanging basket for like $2.50 or $3 or something like that. So I scooped up some of those and I just planted them straight in the ground. And I thought, you know what? I wonder if I can overwinter these geraniums without having them potted, bringing them inside. So I Googled on the YouTube and I found this cute gal named Susan. And sure enough, she taught me how to do that. So I went ahead and did that this fall. I've never done it before. I have no clue if it's going to work out. I don't know if they're gonna survive, um, but I'm really excited because it's just super fun to try new things and test new things out. And if this works, this is gonna be way easier uh, than trying to overwinter pots because you have to like water them. They don't look the greatest. They take up room in your house. I already have like a ton of house plants that I don't have room for. So this is nice because they're down in the basement in paper bags, they're out of the way, and you just have to kind of check them once a month. So I threw up a movie the other day, and a couple of you were asking, I think Marion and Kim were both asking how my geraniums were doing, and I thought, you know what? I don't know, that's a good question. <laughs> Let's go check them out. So we're in the house today, and we're gonna go downstairs, check out how my geranium's doing. I'm gonna, oh, there's Max. He's having a little heyday with this little Christmas tree here. <laughs> so we we took our Christmas decorations down, uh, but a lot of my Christmas decorations are not specifically Christmas. They're like kind of winter. So after Christmas, I take away all of my Christmas decorations, like all my Santa Clauses and my nativity scenes and stuff like that. But then I keep up like my wintery, wintery things. And so I do keep this little tree up right here because it's white and wintery. <laughs> and he's having a lot of fun with it, knocking it down. But anyway, uh, let's go down and open up the paper bags and see what we can find. What are you doing, boy? You having fun? Yeah. Yeah. I do have my water bottle in case they're super, super dry. Susan said to very, very, very sparingly get some moisture on them if you feel like they're like dead. So we'll check that out. But I have my niece is coming over today to hang out. I'm gonna watch her. So I gotta make sure my door's unlocked in case they come when I'm downstairs. Hey buddy, Hazel's coming over today. You gonna have fun? She's gonna play with you, huh? We're gonna go check out my geraniums. I have an unfinished basement and so I had this little ledge over here and I put all the bags on that ledge in their own little section and they've been here ever so since. In this bag I have pink and I had a couple different types of pink and I don't know exactly what they were but white. These ones were out by my mailbox in my red, white, and blue bed. And then pink. I think there was one more color pink. I can't remember what I wrote. Oh, dark pink. So they're looking pretty good. They look exactly like how they looked when I brought them down here. And I am just going to go ahead and open up one of these bags and see what we can find. You want to help me check the geraniums? You want to help me check them? He wants me to pick him up. <laughs> Max is going to help us. <laughs> so 
So I put these in the, I just went back and looked. I put these in there on uh, October 22nd and I was supposed to check them once a month, which I didn't. So I didn't check them in November, November, December. I didn't check them last month in December and today is January 3rd. So, you know, like at least, at least I'm checking them now, right? Uh, thank you to Marion and Kim who reminded me because I probably would have forgot. So anyway, I'm just going to open these up. I'm really excited to see they've been in here for like a good, a good two months and a little more. So let's see what we got here. Look at buddy. <gasps> wow. All right. So I put, I put these in, uh, with all of the uh, leaves and everything. I did go ahead and, oh bud, yes, yes. You should come outside with me. You would love it. <laughs> so I put these in with all the leaves and everything. Uh, that's what Susan told us to do. Um, I did go ahead and break off any bits that were already kind of dead or broken uh, or just looking kind of gross. Uh, but I'm not kidding you guys. Do you see these blooms on here? These are new blooms. These bloomed in the bag. I'm not kidding. There were no blooms on here when I put them in the bag. Seriously. So you can kind of see. I'm just going to take that leaf off there so you can see better. There, that's a better shot of it. Next. Uh, see, there's a better shot of it there. And you can see that new uh, bud right there. The new growth, that all happened in the bag. That is crazy. And there's a few, oh, Max. Now watch my geranium die because, because of Max. What do you think, bud? Yeah. So I think so far this is a success. If, oh. <laughs> it's a success until Max ruins it. Uh, so if any of you have done this before and you're like, Jessica, that's not good. That's bad. They look horrible. Let me know. Let me know what I should do. Or if any of you are like, you've done this before and this is how they're supposed to look, please let me know. I've, I've never done this before. Like I said, this is my first time. So there are nobody now. Uh, so yeah, right in here, there are one, two, three, four spots where I see new growth that happened in the bag. Um, but I'm going to take them all out and just inspect them. All right. Now this one, each stem right here has a little bit of new growth. There's some new growth on that stem. Uh, there's some new growth on that stem. There's uh green right here, new growth right there. And then on this stem, this one right here, I don't see any. And it is looking a little bit gross, but... They're right down at the base there, you can see a little bit of green. So I'm going to keep it, and maybe I'll spritz that one with a little bit of water. I don't know. Wow, that one's got some new growth on it too. Look at that one that came and grew. This is so crazy. I, I feel like I'm just going to keep this one like it is too, because there's like, see that? New growth. This is nuts. All right, there's a little one in here. This one's a little bit smaller, but there's new growth on that one too. I see one, two, three, four spots where there's green and then a bloom. Wow, this is really neat and a lot less work. Uh, and headache than overwintering them in pots. If this works for me, uh, I'm going to be really excited and I'm probably going to do this every year. Another thing is these geraniums are expensive. These are zonal geraniums and you pay like five fifty to six bucks a pot here where I live at the local garden center or, or at Home Depot at the box stores. They're ridiculous and you know they're beautiful uh, but again as cheap as I am it kills me to have to pay for geraniums every year. That's why I usually overwinter them. Um, but this is just <laughs> going to be a game changer for me. All right. 
So I'm just gonna go through and check the rest of my bags. Make sure my white, my other pink, and then my dark pink ones look pretty good. And yeah, we'll leave some, uh, we'll leave some leaves <laughs> for Max to play with. What do you think, bud? You got to see my geraniums? Okay, we'll try the second bag. These are the white ones. All right, so the white ones, they're still green on the stalks. So I see that. They're still looking pretty good. There's a little bit of new growth. And I don't know if new growth is good. I don't know if that's good or bad, but um, Susan said to just check them for mold or any dead pieces or anything that's rotting. So she didn't say like to take off the you know, the buds or the blooms or anything like that. So I'm just gonna leave them. But it is really neat to see that there is new growth. So it's like living. It gives me hope that this is working. Uh, but I don't see anything rotting. I don't see any dead bits or mold or anything like that. So, so far so good. Let's see, yeah, it is just crazy to me. Little piece of new growth right there that happened inside a dark, bag with no water. There's another little stock in there. You can see that one. But man, yeah, like I said, so far so good. It's, um, it's looking really good. I don't see any mold. There's this little stock right here. I'm going to take that off. That's dead. But I mean, yeah, I don't see anything too alarming all right so the white looks pretty good I'm gonna put these back in the bag and we'll keep going I feel like so far it's a success. Like I said, I put these in the bag on October 22nd. Today is January 3rd, so it's about a little over two months after. I just checked them for the first time and they seem pretty good. They are really, really, really dry though, these roots. So I am gonna take my squirt bottle and very, very sparingly just go and kind of spritz the roots a little bit, just like that. Just like a couple squirts each and 
uh, that's about it. I will get my stapler and um, we'll staple the bags back together. And I did wanna show you this too. These are all of the leaves I just sweeped up. It fills up just, you know, like a dustpan full. And these just simply fell off as I was taking them in and out of the bag. I didn't pull them off. There was one dead stalk that I pulled off on purpose. The rest just fell off. So it is a little bit messy. I would say if you are gonna pull them out and uh, check on them, I would do it somewhere where it's easy to clean up or maybe you don't wanna make a huge mess, but you will have a little bit of leaves that fall off like that. So now you're probably wondering, well now what, what do you do? Well, from here on out, I'm supposed to keep checking them once a month, but uh, Susan said six weeks before my last frost date, so I'm gonna have to look up about when that is, um, I will pull them out, check them again, prune off any dead bits. Um, oh, just a second. <laughs> Max wanted to come up. Check them again for anything dead or moldy, trim that off, and then we're gonna pot them up. We're gonna pot them up and gradually reintroduce them to light. So uh, basically she said like about one to two, every one to two weeks, just give it a little bit more light just so that it can acclimate um, going from this dark paper bag into obviously, hopefully, eventually the end result is to take it outside and plant it in a pot or in the ground again so that's what we are gonna do i am pleasantly surprised so far i didn't see anything that was rotting or dead uh and we will hopefully check them again next month and see what we got but anyway thank you guys so much for watching if you do this and you have any suggestions for me or advice or if you're like no 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 this is all wrong just please let me know. Like I said, I have never done this before and it's like super exciting to learn new things. So I would love um, your advice and wisdom around this project uh, if you have it. So anyway, if you overwintered your geraniums too this year and you forgot about them, this is a friendly reminder from me, Marion and Kim <laughs> to get your butt down there and check them out. So, all right, well, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope that you are just enjoying this new year and living every day to its fullest. We'll see ya, bye. A fool could fall so hard, but honey, baby, when I fell, the whole world must have jumped. I think I grip my doggish ways. If you take me for your group, you got me chasing rabbits, picking out rings and how.